one look at you and I know it's gonna be a perfect day. Perfect day. Perfect day at Moo Moo K. Ahoy mates! Hello happy travelers! Welcome back on board Royal Caribbean's Freedom of the Seas, day number two of our journey and we find ourselves here having a perfect day at Coco Cay. Something kind of exciting in store for today. We're going to do things that we've never done before here at Coco Cay. We've visited many, many times. We've shown you the water park, we've shown the balloon, we've done the Coco Beach Club, all kinds of stuff. Today, new things that we've never ever done. So let's go ahead and get it started. Day number two begins right now. New day at Coco Cay. New stuff, moo stuff at Coco Cay. Tuesday? More like new day. Oh wait, no, no, don't shut the door. I need to get in. Or moose day. Ah. <laughs> Our first new thing for the day is actually a new excursion. Ooh, big ticket item. We have not done, but you want to hear something that's not new? We're running late for it. Oh no! <laughs> This way for an excursion before, but now we're gonna go down this path. Pretty sure this is where we need to head. Dun, 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 dun. Yes, these zip lining here at Perfect Day at Coco Cay. We've never done it before. No, we've had a lot of clients ask about it, so we thought, eh, something we've never done. This would be a good opportunity to show it. Yes, and we're gonna go in expecting some fun times. We will be honest, right? The price of this almost a hundred dollars per person yeah that's why we haven't done it yet yeah and we <laughs> kind of can tell what it's gonna do we're not sure that that's gonna be worth it but open mind we will see open and we'll let you know let's take a look at the rules maximum weight 275 minimum weight 75 pounds and minimum height of 48 inches i do believe that works out to be four feet uh, operation is affected by wind speed so if it's very windy you may not be able to go uh, Always follow instructions, no unauthorized use, blah, 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 blah. No tampering with safety equipment. Basic things that you would expect to find. No, no loose jewelry or loose shoes, so you won't be wanting to wear flip-flops. Clothing required, so not coming in a bathing suit or something like that, unless it's full on. Uh, 15 years of age or younger, it must be accompanied by an adult 18 years or older. And uh, no smoking, all those typical things that apply to the island. There's the uh, Welcome Plaza with the band. The pier goes back down that way. And you can see Thrill Water Park right there behind the tower. So this little blue pavilion here with the lockers, this is where you'll check in for the zipline excursion. So first things you do when you come up, they're going to take your stateroom number, make sure you're on the list for your time. And then they're going to have you sign an electronic waiver and they will weigh you on the scales here. So that is going to happen. They will stick to that. And then you can come over and grab a locker, put your stuff in. No charge for that. That's included with the excursion. So right after you're in the locker area, you come in here to like where the front desk was and they get you set up with your equipment. Get you all strapped in. Pay attention to the important safety information in this video. To participate in this experience, you must be at least 48 inches tall. Up the stairs we go. There's going to be three lines. So three zips across and we should have a really great view. The closer turn around. So we do get to go together, but they're like hooking us up one at a time. Safety first. of the line so we can go up the stairs to the next one. So they use a ladder. They help pull you up to the ladder. They unclip you. They clip the, the heavy part to you so you don't have to carry it. And then you step down the ladder. 
and you're good to go. That was fun! What a view! Yeah, it is. It's worth it for the view. This is the third and last run, but I think this is gonna be the best one because you get to go over Harbor Beach. So you get to go over the water and the fountain, get a great look at the ship, Daredevil's Peak behind you, and the ocean in front of you. I think this is gonna be your favorite. So here is the last line that we did, and that was the landing platform. So what they asked us to do is they unhooked us and we still have our, like we're all strapped up still and everything. They asked us to walk from the platform, come up the bridge, go back, wave to the ship, and then go back to where we started and drop off our gear. And then we can get the stuff out of our locker and we'll be good to go. As we're walking back, I feel like this would be a good time to mention we had a morning session. It was at like 10. Um, I recommend doing an early one. One, one reason being because it rain. Rain is likely in your future and it's most likely gonna rain in the afternoon. So there's that. And two, it is super hot now and you'd be really hot in those towers. So just food for thought. Because remember, you're going upstairs every tower. Yeah. That's the only way up there. There's no lift, there's no elevator, there's no nothing. You're walking upstairs for three towers, so. So, something to think about. Ah, uh, humble beginnings. We're back. Drop off our gear. See, right where we started. Gonna go into the, the shack. I didn't notice this earlier. Shoe drop. In case you did have flip-flops you needed to change or whatever. Oh. Because you have to wear closed toe shoes, so. And actually, speaking of that, I noticed here in the gear shack, um, they do have like croc type of shoes here. Um, I think if you forgot your shoes, they'll give you those. Yeah, because he's asking for size right now, so. Yeah. So that's cool. And they have plenty of sizes too, so if you, I would recommend bringing your own, but if you happen to forget, like, I think you're covered. We're picking up our gear from the lockers, and I wanted to um, make note, they say that not all of these are always working, so they, like, suggested that we, like, like, put in the code, like test it out and lock it and see if it reopens like before putting your stuff in. So, cows at Coco K. Before we say farewell to the locker, I did want to show like how much room there is. Like there's plenty of room. It fit our backpack and and our big huge mega water bottle. Oh, oh cameras. I'm oh, talked about that. Cameras, super important. Obviously we filmed. Uh, you need to have a strap, not this kind of camera, this one though. And they let me with the, the, the stick. That was cool because it has a wrist strap. Your phone because it has a wrist strap and needs to be able to be secured to your body, but they're cool with that. How did you feel about our zip lining adventure? I really enjoyed it. A lot more than I thought I would. Not We've done zip lining before, mm -hmm. so I knew that would be cool. But again, as we talked about, did feel like it was pretty pricey. I still feel like it's pricey. I think I think a hundred bucks a person, and I, it could be higher too. Yeah. May, uh, keep that in mind. But I think a hundred bucks a person is still kind of a lot for only three runs. And like I would say, like the actual time we were like in motion doing stuff is probably only like about twenty minutes, and then like tack on another fifteen to like check in, get ready, and stuff like that. So like it's kind of a lot for like a short experience, but I did I did enjoy the experience though. Like the views were super good. If you want a really good view of Coco K and you don't want to do the balloon, um, or the balloon's not running that day because it's windy, like the zip lining is really cool. You get like a good layout of the land. We also agreed it would be good for a first timer if you're trying to dip your toes into zip lining. You haven't really done it before. Uh, we think this one is good because it's not too terribly high. You know, a lot, some of it goes over water. I think that makes people feel more comfortable. Yeah. Uh, but the main thing is the way you actually do it. We've never done that before where you, you 
the way the harness works, you have a built-in seat. So you sit down, and before you ever start going anywhere, you're suspended on the line up above the platform. You're just kind of bobbed above. So you, your body is getting used to the line supporting you before you're ever actually going anywhere. And you don't have to, like, walk off or jump off the platform in order to go. They just, like, release your line and, like, they make you go. So, like, I know that's kind of, like, a hard thing to, like, step over the ledge. So, like, it, it is very comfortable and, like, very um, e easier from, like, a scared of heights mindset of, like, that you're just, like, kind of sitting there and then they release you and you gently glide out. And also, too, it is only three lines, so if you're not sure if you're gonna like zip lining, like, at least it's, like, three and done if you end up not liking it. So, like, if you're trying to see if you would like zip lining, this would be a good way to dip your toes into it. Um, and if you're looking for a really good view, it does offer a great view. It's still a lot of money for the amount of time that you get. So you kind of have to weigh that. It's kind of a decision you have to personally make, but we had a good time. Yeah, we did. I just had a realization too, that if you're watching this video and you're wondering, why was there a cow at the beginning? <laughs> You probably missed day number one. So go back and check that video out and it will explain everything. Next item on the agenda is not exactly new. It's not new, but um, it being successful is new. Ah, so the last time we were here, Chelsea tried to procure an item from this here stand, but they told us they had sold out. But it is here now. What is it? Hot hat. Let's see then. Oh wow, look at that. That is fantastic. Is that not excellent? Is nice it, this, big. This is why I want it. It's yeah. because of the, it's like the cups that you can get. Yeah, it's like the built-in design there. I mean, look at this. I'm gonna be like a walking advertisement for Perfect Day at Coco K. It's true. And in case you were curious, that their hat is $30. And of course you can pay with your CPASS card here. They could just charge it to the account. Okay, I'm ready for our next new thing today. Wait. Now I'm ready for our next new thing today. <laughs> In all of our visits here, there's something else we've never done, despite seeing it go by us many, many times. We have never taken the Coco K tram. So if you didn't know, Coco K has a tram service. It can take you from the ship down the pier to the island, but also it can take you around the island as well. So of course there is the ship at the end of the pier. You see all the flags and stuff. So it will just run on the side over there the left side from where we're looking at right now and then it will come around here past the coco k sign and then down that path over there over towards where we got uh situated and set up for our zip line excursion you can actually see there's a tram coming right now it's kind of over in the distance so that is the tram station and we can take a look at it on the map here so again the pier so there's trams that run there and then come over here to the main tram station area the zip line check-in was right here okay and then you can take the tram around the island as well so it's this blue line comes around kind of like backstage so you got the tram right there and then it comes around and then this is where it gets a little a little funny <laughs> it's kind of hard to tell exactly where it goes or which way it goes but it does come around here there's a stop listed here at the up up and away helium balloon looks like it comes around here this is weird coco beach club it has a faded tram stop sign so not sure about that looks like it comes over here over by uh the wacky seagull bar and chill island kind of area over near oasis lagoon and then maybe back around and then there's a stop here at South Beach as well so I think we'll maybe hop on this tram and just kind of see let's see exactly where it goes and where it stops so we're in the little tram waiting area thing there's Matt and what we have surmised so far is that these really big longer trams are the ones that will take you like around the island and stuff like that and then these smaller ones are going to be used for um, taking you to and to the island and back to the ship or another tram came and look we're going to be in the back back with a perfect view this is why you should be patient everyone is crowded into that one and now there's like no one here for hours We'll take it. And here we go. We're off and running. And this is our first stop, South Beach. So we came all the way over here to South Beach to the kind of like the right side of the island, I guess you could say, when you look at the map. That's the first stop.
just had another stop right here for the uh, Breezeway Beach or the Oasis Lagoon. So if you're coming over to Breezeway Beach, playing the games or anything like that, you can get off on that and, and stop there. And then if you're going to Oasis Lagoon, the Caribbean's largest freshwater pool, you can also use that stop. And then we're on the inland side. This is where you will depart. And just like that, we are back at where we started. So it does make a full, complete loop there, full circuit. I would say the whole ride took maybe 10 minutes. I mean, it was it was pretty quick. And they don't really linger at those stops. They do kind of wait here at the main one to make sure, you know, they can get as many people on as possible. But uh, overall, that was pretty quick and pretty efficient and a good way to get around the island if you don't feel like walking. Also, we we passed right by um, the Up Up and Away balloon. Um, I'm assuming that it's probably not running today because it was a little windy earlier and they close it down quite often if it's windy um, and I haven't seen it up at all today. Um, so I'm assuming it's not running, but I would guess if it was running, it, the tram would probably stop there too if, if you are doing that for the day. Because the map did have a stop right there. Yeah. Um, some of those stops were still pretty close. Stop one and two were still right there. Even three was right there, so. Another good thing about the tram ride as well is they announce over an intercom like where, like where you're at, like this is the stop for South Beach or whatever. So they will alert you and let you know like where you're at. So that's really helpful. We have one more thing that we've never done before. Captain Jacks. Just this that though, not not the other name because that that's with someone else. <laughs> that's the they own have their own line. yeah, they have their own cruise line. Uh, anyway, Captain Jacks. <laughs> Captain Jack's is awesome looking. So to explain what it is, it's a huge pavilion here, as you can see, right next to Skipper's Grill, right next to the Harbor Beach Lagoon area. So it's mainly a bar, as you can see there in the middle, but they do have an additional cost food section. That's what we're here for. Let's check it out. So here we go, Captain Jack's Bites. Again, an additional cost. Most food here at Coco K is included, but here we have an additional cost. So 10 wings. I will say 10 wings for $7.95 is a really good deal. Four flavors to choose from there. Buffalo, mango, habanero, Caribbean jerk, or bourbon barbecue. And then down here we have crispy steak fries for $3 with your choice of dipping sauce. The TLC, which is tequila, lime, and chipotle. Parmesan peppercorn, sambal garlic, aioli, and honey mustard. And just to give a full idea of where we're at here, you can see we're right on the uh, shore, the bank here of the Harbor Beach, Harbor Lagoon area. There's Skipper's Grill where we usually eat. And then you have Chill Island and the Oasis Lagoon Pool are over there. There's the bridge, you go across, and then back over there is the ship. And then you have Thrill Water Park back behind us. There's Daredevil's Peak right there, Splash Summit over there, up, up, and away, Helium Balloon there. So pretty much towards the front of the island here. It's cool too, because here at the bar, they have these little swings you can sit on. Just roped off. It's pretty fun. So there we go. Food's here, our crispy steak fries. We went with the TLC, the tequila lime chipotle sauce. We also brought some blue cheese for our wings and ketchup for the fries if we wanted them. We also asked for ranch, they're bringing that out. And then what flavor did we go with for the wings? Caribbean jerk. Oh my gosh, look at that. And as with anywhere else here at Coco K, you have to watch your food. The seagulls are trying to come in and grab it. Luckily, we knew that, so I was prepared. But it, it swooped in and it was it was floating about for a second, knocking about trying to trying to snag, trying to nick our crisps. So my thoughts on the wing and fries <laughs> at Captain Jack is I probably wouldn't do it again. Like it was fun. We ate it. It was, it was all right. 
It was okay. I said it was a good price for the wings. I didn't realize how small they were. They were pretty small wings. And you know, they tasted okay. The, I didn't really care for the TLC sauce. So if no. uh, I personally would pick something else if we went back, but to be honest, we probably won't come back. And that's not like a slight against it. It's just... There are too many other good options here that are included. Coco K has a lot of really good free food um, that honestly I think is better. Um, so. And if you're sailing on a ship with Playmakers, those wings are way better. Oh yeah, just way go better. there. Just go there. Yeah. Just go there. So, but worth a shot. People we have been asking, so. We were happy to guinea pig it for you. There you go. <laughs> Well, we thought Captain Jack's was gonna be our last thing we haven't done here at Coco K today, but uh, well, we're not doing anything here. But it's something new we've never seen. We've Look at Airstream Coco K bar. Look at that! It's so nice and metallic -y and shiny. And then they put all the cool Coco K designs on it. You just walk up. It's over here at like Chill Island, right by the Snorkel Beach and all that stuff. It's actually right across from the tram stop tram station for Chill Island. So, yeah, we saw it on the tram earlier. It was like, what was that? Like an Airstream. Well, there you go. It's a bar. I knew riding that tram would pay off. <laughs> Another thing I like about this is that it's just called bar. <laughs> like, you know how usually they like make cute names for stuff like Captain Jack's bar? No, this one's just bar. If you got to give a clever name for the Airstream bar, what would you call it? Oh my gosh. The Metallic Matey. <laughs> the Metallic Matey Bar. We have Captain Jack, so this is the first mate, Metallic Matey. I like it. And finally, to end our perfect day at Coco K, something that is definitely not new, just one of our favorites. So we always try to check this box. We gotta go for a swim at Harbor Beach here in the lagoon. Even though it's great to try new things, have great experiences. Sometimes you just have to go with the tried and true. Well, we've never done the tram around the island. Now we'll do the tram back to the ship because we've never done that either. We've never done any tram anywhere back to the ship. That's on true. any pier. This is our first time being on a tram on a pier. This is documented history. Get ready. We didn't show this earlier because um, there was a little bit of a wait for the tram and we were running late. But like right where they're parking right there, that's where you can pick up the tram um, in the morning to get onto the island. And it's just right off the gangway, so easy peasy. We made it just in time to see Coco K off and give it the proper goodbye that it deserves. Bye bye Coco K. friends that's gonna do it for day number two on board Royal Caribbean's Freedom of the Seas another perfect day at Coco Cay and we are exhausted I think mm -hmm. our plan for the rest of the evening is to get the same exact food that you saw at Playmakers last night to go come back to our cow suite and watch a movie uh, 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 uh. Oh, and of course we will be getting more ice cream because, you know. We have a coupon. So. You don't not use a coupon. <laughs> but we hope we will see you back tomorrow. Day number three is a day at sea, so we'll be seeing what fun we can get into on board Royal Caribbean's Freedom of the Seas. Uh, once again, if you're interested in booking, uh, feel free to reach out via the travel agent information. It's in the description of this video. Completely free to you. If you booked in the past 30 days, haven't paid in full, you can transfer your booking. All that typical stuff, blah, 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 blah. If you missed any of the action, 
uh, yesterday, day one, or our train ride down to Miami. You can find those videos in the Freedom of the Seas playlist on the channel. But we're going to sign off for tonight. We'll see you next time. Happy, Happy travels. travels! Perfect day. Perfect day at Moo Moo K. Moo Moo K. Moo Moo Moo. 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 <laughs>